Hi, good day everyone! Sa video ito, pag-uusapan natin ang ibig sabihin ng antiderivatives at ang power rule for antidifferentiation. Bago tayo magsimula sa ating main topic for this video na power rule ng antiderivatives, recall muna natin ang ibig sabihin ng antiderivative ng isang function. So, dito tayo kay number 1. So, we say that capital F is an antiderivative of small f if pag kinuha mo yung derivative ni capital F, you get small f. Okay? So, that's what we mean by antiderivative. So, parang yung pabalik na process lang ito. Okay? So, for example, ito, si 5x to the 4, etong x raised to 5 is an antiderivative of small f. Kasi, uh, so f is an antiderivative, sulat natin, of f because if you get the derivative of capital F, paano kumukuha ng derivative nito ng x raised to something? Lalaglag mo yung exponent, tapos magbabawas ka ng tawag dito ng exponent. Magbabawas ka ng isa, so yung 5 magiging 4. Okay, so this is an antiderivative because if you get its derivative, you will get the original function. Okay ba yun? So, magbigay pa tayo ng iba pang antiderivatives. Iusog ko lang ito. So, mabilis lang itong intro natin dito. So, magbibigay pa ako ng isa. Itago natin sa pangalang F2. X raised to 5 plus 1. So, notice kapag kinuha ko yung derivative ni F2, magiging, lalaglag natin yun, ba? And then, subtract 1 sa exponent. Ang derivative ng constant is 0. You get 5x raised to 4, which is your original function. So, ibig sabihin, itong thing na to is also an antiderivative of small f. Antiderivative... of small f because because of this. Okay? So, ang sinasabi ko lang dito na ang antiderivative, hindi siya unique. So, maraming antiderivatives. Although, kahit na marami kang antiderivatives, ang sinasabi ni number 2, if you have two antiderivatives, uh, makukuha mo yung isa by adding some constant doon sa isa. So, ibig sabihin, kapag meron kang dalawang antiderivatives, si subtract them, you get a constant. So, parang ito, oh, we have two antiderivatives. If you subtract this two, nagdi-differ lang sila by some constant. Yun yung maganda sa kanila. And let me introduce you sa mga terms and notation natin. So, antidifferentiation is the process of finding the antiderivative... Oh, but derivative ang nakalagay dito? So, anti yan. Okay? So, second bullet natin. Uh, if capital F is an antiderivative of small f, we write gamit itong notation na to. So, nakikita nyo, may integral sign dx. So, whatever yung nasa gitna niya, ibig sabihin, get the antiderivative of that. Okay? So, equal to... Uh, an antiderivative plus C, general constant. Okay? Kasi mga antiderivatives natin nagdi-differ by a constant. So, lagi lang kayo maglalagay ng plus C kapag meron kang integral sign na walang number. Okay? So, walang number yung integral natin. So, kapag walang number yung integral natin, ang tawag natin dyan sa integral na ito ay indefinite integral. Okay? Indefinite. Tatandaan nyo. Pag sinabing indefinite integral, ibig sabihin, find the antiderivative lang yun. Magkapareha lang yun. Huwag kayong madilito sa terms. Okay? So, 
Recall natin yung ilang properties tapos puro examples na tayo. So, itong number 1 at 2, napaka-importante yung properties ito ng anti-differentiation kasi gagamitin nyo na to forever uh, after ng lesson na to, no? So, ito yung unang property. Kuwari, meron kang plus or minus sa loob ng integral sign. You can distribute yung integral over addition or subtraction. Okay, so plus minus integral ng g of x dx. Yung pangalawa naman, kapag may constant ka, pwede mong ilabas sa integral. Okay? Yung constant lang ang pwedeng lumabas sa integral, ha? pero pag may x ka, bawal mong ilabas yun. Okay? Constant lang. Pag wala kang nakikitang x, pwedeng ilabas sa integral. Okay, so ito yung isa sa mga pinaka-importanting rule ng anti-differentiation. Ito yung tinatawag nating power rule. Okay? So, ang integral ng x to the n dx ay, paano raw ang gagawin mo? Add 1 sa exponent divided by the new exponent plus c. Tapos yung n mo not equal to negative 1 kasi magsisiro yung denominator kapag n mo is not negative 1. Sa ibang video natin, ipapakita paano kung negative 1 yung exponent mo. So, magsagot na tayo ng mga examples natin rito. So, itong first bullet, what is the integral dx? Anong ibig sabihin ng notation na yan? It means, meron kang 1 doon sa, sa loob. Pero, Kapag constant, pwede mo lagyan na x raised to 0 kasi x raised to 0 is 1, di ba? Tapos, anong sabi ng rule natin? x to the n, this is x to the n. Add 1 sa exponent, so yung 0 magiging 1, divided by the new exponent which is 1. And then, you write plus c. Kasi laging may plus c lang. Okay? Huwag kakalimutan yung plus c. Or ang sagot dito ay 1 over 1 is 1, x raised to 1 is x, and then your plus c. Okay? Punta tayo dun sa second example natin, itong nasa second bullet. So meron tayong dalawang terms separated by a plus. Ang sabi nung properties of anti-differentiation natin, pwede mo silang i-integrate term-wise or i-anti-differentiate term-wise. Okay? So, i-anti-differentiate mo lang ito. Okay? So, anong ibig sabihin ng 7x? It means 7x raised to 1. Anong sabi ng ating rule dito? Add 1 sa exponent, magiging 2. That's divided by the new exponent. Plus 3. Kapag constant, ganito yung technique, parang yung ginawa natin dito, constant 1, diba? Ano yung naging sagot? Didikitan mo lang ng x. Okay? So, constant, didikitan mo lang ng x yun. Yun yung technique. And don't forget the plus c. Laging may plus c. Okay? Punta tayo dito sa third bullet natin. Usog ko nga yung mga examples, ha, para hindi sila nag-ano nagka-clutter. Okay, dito tayo sa third bullet, etong naka-focus. So, ganun ang ulit. Ah, isulat muna natin to in exponential form. Para hindi tayo malito. Uh, 1 over x square is x raised to negative 2. Ayan. Tapos, gamitin na natin yung power rule. Ano sabi ng power rule para mawala itong integral? Add 1 sa exponent divided by the new exponent. Plus, mag add ka ng 1 sa exponent. So, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So, magiging negative 1 yung exponent mo. Divided by sa new exponent natin. And don't forget to write plus C. Kasi simplify na natin kung may masisimplify tayo. Okay, so 
positive negative magiging negative no tapos x raised to negative 1 plus c so ito na yung sagot or yung iba ang gusto ganito 3x raised to 5 over 5 Etong x raised to negative 1, ginagawang 1 over x raised to 1, or 1 over x. Pareha lang din yon So, kahit ano dyan, tamang sagot. Okay? So, more practice pa tayo. Uusog ko lang ulit, kasi kailangan ko ng espasyo. How about this? So, ganun lang ulit. A uh, term wise is isa nating integrate or anti differentiate. So add one sa exponent, magiging five. That's divided by the new exponent. Plus nine x raised to add one sa exponent, divided by the new exponent. Minus two constant lang siya. Ano sabi ko pag constant? Lalagyan mo lang ng x. And then, plus C. Wala na tayo masisimplify. So, yan na ang final answer. Okay? So, how about square root of X? So, square root of X, kung isusulat mo muna siya in exponential form, that is X raised to 1 half. Tapos, paano nag anti differentiate Add 1 sa exponent. So, 1 half plus 1. Tapos, divide mo by the new exponent. And don't forget to write the plus C. Tapos, magsisimplify na lang tayo dyan. Okay? So, what is 1 half plus 1? Siyempre, isa-scratch nyo yung sa gilid, no? Equal yan sa 1 half plus 2 divided by 2, 3 over 2. So, equal siya sa x raised to 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 plus c. Or, paano nagdi-divide ng fraction? You multiply it by the reciprocal. So, divided by 3 over 2 is the same as times 2 thirds. And then, don't forget the plus c. Importante yung plus c. Okay? At punta na tayo dun sa last example natin. So, kung mapapansin nyo, itong example na to, integral ng product. Pero, doon sa rules natin, wala tayong product rule for antiderivative kasi wala talaga. So, ang gagawin natin dito, kailangan ma-abuse natin itong power rule na to. At saka, at saka ito, at saka ito. Okay? Kaya ang gagawin natin dito for last example, imumultiply muna natin yung nasa loob. Kasi yun yung meron tayong rule. Meron tayong foil method. Tama? Ano ibig sabihin ng foil method pag nagmumultiply? Multiply the first terms. 2x times x is 2x squared. Tapos, multiply the outer terms, 6x, multiply the inner terms, negative x, and then multiply the last term, yun yung L, minus 3. Tapos, combine like terms na lang muna bago mag-integrate or antiderivative. 6x minus x is 5x. And then, gawin lang yung rule natin. 2x raised to, mag add ng 1 sa exponent, it becomes 3, divided by the new exponent. Kasi yun yung rule. Plus, 5x, anong exponent? Kapag x lang ang nakalagay, it means 1. So, add 1 to the exponent, the exponent becomes 2. Divided by the new exponent. Minus, constant lang yung 3. Maglalagay ka lang ng x. Okay? And then, don't forget the plus c. 
Ayan, and that ends our short video on antiderivatives using the power rule. Yung next video natin, yung ibang properties naman. Paano mag-integrate ng 1 over x? Paano mag-integrate ng sine, ng cosine, at ng iba pang trig functions? Okay, so yun lang muna for now. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.